Hello everyone, I'm Tia. And I'm Amber. And today we're going to be talking about starch. Before we can understand what starch is, first we must talk about glucose. Glucose is a chemical compound with the following structure. This compound contains six carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and six oxygen atoms. Glucose is a Greek term for sweet which makes sense because it is a basic sugar unit. This compound provides us with energy so that our body can move the way that we want it to. When we connect a bunch of glucose molecules together, we get starch. There are two kinds of starch, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose is made when the glucose molecules link together in one spot only, which gives us a straight chain polymer. Amylopectin is made when glucose molecules link in two spots, which is how we get this branch structure. Natural starches are made up of about 30% amylose and 70% amylopectin. Now you may be wondering, well, where does starch even come from? The answer is plants. Plants produce glucose during photosynthesis and use it for energy so they can grow. Any excess glucose produced is stored in their leaves as starch so that they can save it for later. Plants can't store energy as glucose because glucose is water soluble, which makes it really hard to keep in one place. On the other hand, starch does not dissolve in water, which means it stays in one place until it is needed again. Industrially, we can get starch from plants by crushing or grinding plant parts and then mixing them with water. This makes a paste that can be purified and dried to obtain the final starch product. Different plants produce different starches, like cornstarch, wheat starch, and potato starch. Starch is found in some of your favorite foods, like bread, rice, and pasta. It's also used in flour, where it acts as a thickener and binding agent for baking. Starch is an important part of our diet because it takes longer to digest than simple sugars, which gives our bodies a longer-lasting source of energy. Starch is also a major component in paper manufacturing, where it is used as a binding agent and a strength additive. Thank you for listening. We hope you learned something interesting about starch and why it's an important polymer in our everyday life.